Hello and welcome uh, to Python tutorial on checking username and password. So we are trying to make a small program in which we are going to authenticate the username and password. And what is authentication? Authentication at this point, like when we're going to check username and password, it means permitting only uh, authorized user to get an access. It can be an access to the resources, to a computer system, um, to data and information. So the basic one of the basic way to authent uh, to get access to authorized user is to give them a username and password. And only the user who are having a, a valid username and password will be able to enter the system. Uh, we are going to focus on two skills today. One is nested control st structure when, while we're building up this program. The other is get pass module. Now, get pass is a built-in module in Python. This module is very important because it helps uh, in entering a password that will not echo on the screen. Uh, what is it, What does it mean when we say don't? It won't echo on the screen. It means it won't be visible on the screen. Uh, don't get worried. I'll take it slow. We'll move slow, and you'll be able to understand. So, for example, when you go to a computer lab or of your school or university, you have been provided with a username and password, and you enter your username and you get uh, enter your password, enter the password, and you get an access to the system. Usually, this username and password has been defined by the administrator or by the system generated, but it's not the one that you are gonna set. So, uh, if, uh, if uh, we are we are just uh, imagining a case like that where username has been already defined as guest. And where the password has been already defined as one two three, and the one who will get an access to username who already knew the correct username and password will be able to enter the system. So, what we're going to do first thing first, we're going to import um, get pass module. So we will write down from get pass import get pass. Now, this is very special thing that's happening in this, uh, that we are using in this program, and uh, you will understand what's the purpose of this in a while. So, of course, we have to ask our user to enter a username. So, we'll call it uname, and we'll ask our user to enter a username. Okay. So the, uh, I'm putting a colon and a space for clarity. Once it will enter a username, sometime user enter the right username, but they put a space in the end. And what happens in that case, this, because of that space, I will get an invalid address. Invalid, uh, we'll get the condition false. It will consider that the username is false. So what I'm going to do is uh, even you should be very responsible about this thing. You should be very about, aware about such situations that we should remove all the extra spaces in very start so it will not cause any confusion it will not give us any invalid address if you're not gonna do it right now we know the function is uh, strip the strip function will remove all the extra spaces from start and end but if you don't want to use it now you will understand it later on and we'll enter it at that time okay so, but the better way is that you in the even in the start, whenever you're taking a U name, it's better that you use the method. It's a method of string, so you have to, as as you know, that for all the methods you have to define, you have to call it with an with an object. So here we are going to call it with U name dot strip. So it will remove all the extra spaces from right and left, and then it will st store it, the, whatever the correct is, whatever left over the alphabets are, it's going to store it in U name again. Here comes our real program. So we're going to check. We have to check the username. If the user name is correct, only then we'll proceed towards the password. We are not going to check the password, I and mean, we're not going to ask for the password if the username is not correct. So I'm going to write down, if U name is not equal to original username so we have to use the correct spelling here if it's not equal we don't need to do anything we just need to print enter incorrect username by 
and we'll we're not gonna do anything else if it your name is incorrect else if the username is correct only then we'll use the else statement so, so it's gonna go in else statement and we're gonna call we're gonna ask for the password so I'm going to say p word instead of uh, password because password variable we have already used to predefine our password so I'm going to write on p word is equal to input I'm using input for a reason so that uh, then I'll tell you why uh, then I'll replace it and I'll show you what is the correct one enter your password colon space now if I'll run this program it will ask for the password and when the user will enter a password one two three that will be visible on screen and that's one thing that we don't want okay uh, if the password is correct we'll check the password and then we'll do it. So let's run the program till here and then we'll check for the password uh, so that you will understand what I'm talking about so it's asking enter the username so I'm entering the username it's guest so I'm saying guest press enter it's asking because the username is correct so that's why it's going to else and it's asking for the password. So when I write on one, two, three, it's visible on the screen. You know that usually when we enter the password, it's not visible and it shouldn't be visible for security reason. So instead of input, for that reason, we, instead of input, we will use get pass module. Now you understand the purpose of get pass. So with get, get pass, the words that you will enter will not echo on the screen. And instead of that, there will be nothing. It won't even show static. Okay, so for static, we can use another uh, module that is get character, get ch, and uh, we'll uh, work with it later on, but not at this point. Okay, so p word is equal to get pass. So when we enter the password, we're going to check the password. So inside, in, in, in same in the else statement, we I'm going to check if p word. is equal to equal to password which was already defined if both of them are equal then we can write down welcome to our world of python and if the password is wrong we are going to write on else and we're going to write on print and we're going to write on incorrect password so it makes sense okay when we are writing uh, first of all you should understand this point that if your name is wrong use is incorrect it will just say incorrect username and it won't run the else part it means we will not even ask for the password okay and if username is correct only then we'll ask for the password and we'll ask, and then we'll have to check password. So if this if condition for checking the password is just nested inside this if condition. Okay, this if condition is if if for password is nested inside if of username. So it means this is how this is what is called nested control structure or nested nested conditional structure in this case because it is inside another if condition it will run only if it's if the other con depending upon the condition of outer if okay let's run there is another glitch in this program another thing that we need to fix and i have um, discussed with you in start and we'll we'll fix it now but let's run it and see how does it work we'll do both things first we'll give wrong username and we'll see what will happen then we'll give correct username and we'll see what will happen so when we run and I give a wrong username so I'm giving a wrong username when I press enter it is not running this it's not asking for the password it's not even running this part it's just saying incorrect username which is the line 10 and finished okay now if we're going to giving the correct pass username then it will ask for the password I'm giving a correct username I'm pressing enter now because this condition became false it will go to else and it will take ask for the password and for password I'm not using input I'm using get pass so when I press one two three and I press enter it is not showing me one two three character 
and then it is checking if my password is equal to equal to the original is comparing it to the original password that's one two three so yes if the condition is comes true if the condition at line 13 comes true then it will print welcome to our world of pythons uh, python instead it, it will say incorrect password let's run it again and this time i'm going to write on the correct username but with a space and that's what i was talking about that we should use the strip function to remove any spaces okay so for example i'm if i uh, i don't have this i'm making this line as a comment line eight in which i'm removing the extra spaces as hashtag i'm putting a hashtag here um so it means number sign here it will become a comment now okay so when i run the program it's asking for the username and i'm intentionally putting one two spaces and then i'm writing guess now the username is correct but i'm putting more spaces as you can see and i'm pressing enter so it is saying incorrect username to avoid such simple errors which could be um uh, which which are human errors but which can be ignored uh, we can use strip function so that it can remove all the extra spaces from right hand side and from left hand side from start and end of the string function entered by user so that's why we're using it uh, best of luck try this program and enjoy one more thing why we are not using get character program right now because um, I, I want to keep it slow and make it more keep it more understandable for you so let's keep it slow let's keep it more understandable to you and that's why we're just focusing on get pass and uh, nested control structure good luck enjoy don't forget to save your work with the right name and what's the right name get pass get pass dot py always give your username always give your program a name that is short and well defined descriptive you don't want a name uh, which is long and not making any sense from the name you should be 